waking up to a brand new day in between your sheets breaking out in the best of ways and I'm back again on the street coming to you from a super rainy day in a face mask obviously I thought we would start the vlog with a self-care day because that is what I have planned today as most of you guys know I struggle with my periods every single month and what I mean by struggle is it's that painful I feel nauseous and then on top of that, the pain is so bad I have to take like, you know, painkillers, which then in turn make me even more nauseous. Basically, it's just not fun every single month and it really like takes the wind out of my sails. Like I really have to take a couple of days off every single month and it kills me because I love being motivated and productive every day. Like I feel really good if I've had a productive day and got a lot of stuff done, like just daily stuff. And especially with work, I love what I do. I love creating videos and editing. Anyway, cut a long story short. Every month I have to take a couple of days off because it really does knock me off my feet sometimes. So hence, we're having a really slow morning. Today is one of them days. And because I enjoy being productive so much, I have found a way to still be productive whilst having a rest. Does that make sense? So I've done my hair dye today. I've done my eyebrows today. We've got a face mask on today. And all the beauty treatments. No life is for living. Let's see where the summer things as well as admin I get on top of all my emails and things like that and so I'm still being productive but having a rest at the same time I appreciate the fact that you probably can't take me seriously in this mask this is a simple deep cleanse bubbling mask can you see it's bubbling here it's really good I just love being slathered in skincare however the last time I did a face mask on the channel I broke out it was that matcha face mask so I'm hoping that doesn't happen although the simple products these products this brand it's really good usually isn't it for like sensitive skin it's not got anything in it what could like you know irritate the skin so this has got witch hazel in charcoal fiber and zinc and so far so good it's really good actually it feels really nourishing on the skin i try and get ash to do these with me because me and joelle used to do them all the time and she's not at home often anymore which is a shame because i just used to love doing stuff like this with joelle <laughs> we do still do stuff like that you know like when she stays over or when she's home and but it's just not often enough for me so i try and get ash to do it with me now <laughs> but he doesn't like anything wet on his skin i would literally sit here with this on until it's dried <laughs> but ash is like five minutes in he's like oh i've got to get it off <laughs> so i've brought my laptop upstairs i'm about to do some admin while sitting in my face mask i've got the real housewives of beverly hills on in the background season 13 i'm on episode eight once i start a season i have to binge so we're binging until we're sick of it and yeah taking it easy today and do you know what it's really good i don't feel like i'm missing out because it's raining cats and dogs outside it's just been raining <laughs> i love that kind of a vibe when i'm feeling like this and i'm like having a duvet day you know i've got to book some train tickets as well for tomorrow me and joelle are gonna go into manchester tomorrow and just have a nice little mother-daughter catch-up 
probably some lunch. We've booked an escape room as well. So that should be fun. I've never done an escape room before. We're going to catch the train so that we can have a little drinky poos. You know, make a day of it. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find, they seem impossible to score. So I dream of. It must be like a new season bag. I love these as well. Look at that. That is so nice. That is just beautiful. That is just stunning. I think that that's... Yeah, well, it is. It's a saddle bag. I think it's called the Chloe Test, that one. This one's a little bit uh, lighter in colour. And then that is beautiful. I've got this, but in the canvas. Oh, they've got little mini ones as well. That is so cute. I'd have to get that little one. Look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Well, it's just like tiny bag energy. Beautiful. I like that one though as well. That is stunning, isn't it? That is beautiful. Oh, look. That black. I do like it. I do like it. That's the classic basket bag from the weather. Everybody's got that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not quite yet. Is it? Take a picture of that. That is so nice. <gasps> I wish. Let's just touch it. That dreams come true, Joelle. Yeah. I'm gutted that my video got. I know. I would have been gutted as well, Joelle. I was at play trying to find him, bless me. I was like, <laughs> it's only 165, that one. They're not expensive, you know. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find these seem impossible. We're on the rooftop bar. We're on the rooftop bar. We stole the, um, we not stole it. <laughs> Just got stole it. They've got loads of games on this rooftop bar. It's pretty good. And the sun's started shining for us today, hasn't it, darling? Yes. It's good. Joelle, would you like to tell everybody on the vlog how <laughs> annoyed you were in the Alice in Wonderland game? Because was... we, we need to update them. 
That's all I have to say. <laughs> so I can say. Basically, Joelle, we're really annoyed when we come out of the game because we, we got three quarters of the way through the game. We just about got the gist of it and then the time ran out yeah. and we didn't finish the game and Joella got right into it. You know, she's really intense, I'm aren't you? Win. Very intense child. Yeah. <laughs> You're a very intense I'm child, aren't you? I'm still feeling the, um, the pressures now. We've had to come and get, like... <laughs> We had to come somewhere and get a beer and just like help her to chill out. And here she goes now with another game, another intense game. Because <laughs> I have to win. <laughs> Look how you've stacked up your coins. Yeah. What's wrong with you, child? Because it's not a game of poker, my love. It is. One, One two, two, three. Scissors, shoot. <laughs> we both the same amount. Right, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh, what an idiot! <laughs> I knew you'd be there again. Stop again. again. Stop again. I'm that busy trying to trying to do my own game. That was just a warm up, right? That doesn't count. Okay. Don't think so, hon. Oh. Oh, you think, well, I'm going to go there, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh <no! laughs> I didn't even look at what you were doing. Got you! Oh. We wouldn't have had them digitally if you went and ruined all the boxes. Oh, no, I don't know why every time you give me a box, I'd rip the box every time. I don't know why. Yeah, you did, and I don't know why you, do, you did it. I remember you telling me don't rip the box and you won't lose the pieces, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah. Girl. <laughs> 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 and now you're busy wondering why I'm yeah. here. Right? Yeah. It's not mm. your day today, Joelle. Oh, it's really not. But when it comes to games. Did you sleep well last night, my love? Yeah, I actually been going to sleep really early. <laughs> that when you messaged me the other day at like half nine, I was in bed and asleep. <laughs> I was I was gone. Really? Yeah. That's good. You're making me jealous, I want a live. Can I have a live? Yeah, take one. I don't want to. Tech one? You sound like your dad. Oh sorry, take one. Tech T K. Tech. <laughs> this is what I mean. Me and your dad were laughing, saying, "Oh my god, my fingers in your drink." Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, the clean. <laughs> <It's fine>. um, <laughs> really Listen, I'm your mama. I know it's okay. <laughs> He's got a Burnley accent, hasn't he? And I said, because he keeps saying tech, tech it. Tech it. I keep saying tech it. Yeah. I and do. I was editing my vlog back, and I was like, tech it. I'm gonna take it. I back. know when you when you hear it though, it's like I oh. know it was very it was. northern, and I'm I'm proud to be northern. You know that. Yeah. But like, but there's being proud to be northern, and then just absolutely. there's really taking on your dad. See? Yeah. Taking, <laughs> taking on. really yeah. taking on your dad's accent, and it's very, it's very it's strong, isn't strong, it? Strong, yeah. isn't it? Even like the hair and her. So we but were I saying. I think hair sounds better than her. Yeah. The way we say it from the way we say her is H U R. Yeah. Her. Heyer is how you're supposed to really. Heyer is hair. how you meant to say it. Her. Oh, it's her. Oh, her. It's her. How now, Bob? I've got your teeth. so white. Are they? Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh, thanks, darling. Your teeth are very beautiful as well. <laughs> we do need white, to get though. them white. We do need to get them white. No, no. At least I don't have a squares. Some people end up with squares after. Oh really? Because staying, I think that's yeah. people smoke. Well, I'm excuse me. I'm going to get you some uh, teeth whitening strips. Yeah. And then we'll get you a dentist professional clean as well. Not clean, a professional whitening system going I know, as well. I'll be in your head. <gasps> what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm missing one though, that's the whole reason why it went down. No, <laughs> not, Joelle. Sometimes, Joelle, we lose in life, yes. you know? We have to move on. Why are you looking at that? Because you're checking if it's filming, aren't you? <laughs> we're teaching life lessons, Joelle. Joelle in the future. Remember this day where we're teaching life lessons? <laughs> you've got beautiful little face. Look at your little sharp jawline. Do you know you've got model bone structure Joelle. I don't think so you know but oh, you definitely do. model. No you have not. When you was a little girl you had really chubby cheeks. Yeah insert photo. Insert photo. What, what for we said your eyebrows are like? Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne. She's Cara Delevingne. Literally a size four to six. Aren't you? I'm six to eight now. Crime here. <laughs> Darling. 
Oh dear, we've committed now, haven't we? We've committed everybody. Oh, prickly. Ooh. Let's see you, little boy. It's a good job you've got a doggy shower at home, isn't it? Oh, oh dear. I can feel it seeping into my shoes. I'll tell you what, April showers are. April showering, aren't they? Wait, Ralphie! <laughs> He's pulling on the lead because there's another dog there. Well, this was not a good idea. Oh, stop pulling! He's going to pull me across the mud because he's <gasps> strong. That's not a good idea either. Come on, Susie. Oh, Ralphie, I'm stuck. Ralphie, mommy's stuck. Wee! Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming this way. Oh my squidging hell. Who's bright spark idea with that? <sighs> Back to dry land everybody. How are you feeling about that now, sir? Was that sufficient? Did you enjoy your morning walk in the park? How many friends did you see? Good morning everyone. It's Friday morning and it's not raining for once because April showers are April showering, aren't they, <laughs> at the moment, especially in the north. It hasn't stopped. It's literally relentless. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of cabin fever, especially this morning. Very foggy brain and I just need to get out into nature. I love it so much and I haven't been to this park for so long. <laughs> I feel so blessed to have gone to the school I went to. It was just a normal, do you call it state school? It was just a normal school. It wasn't anything special like a private school or anything like that. It's just the location. It's within the park and it's just beautiful. And it gives me all the feels from when I was younger. You know, the lily pond and uh, sports day on the tracks. It's just, it's just literally beautiful up here. And I think I would go as far as saying it's probably one of the best schools location wise um, in this town i can't think of any other school that's got a better location than this apart from the flashes <laughs> because when we were younger there used to be reports of uh, like students being flashed at in the woods surrounding the school so a little bit creepy in that respect but <laughs> we had a few girls crying over it and things you know <laughs> it's traumatic isn't it <laughs> i expect <laughs> it never happened to me clearly Anyway, you guys, I feel so much better. We are going to do our little Aldi shop this morning. I'm going to go to Aldi. So I'll bring you guys along with me. Hopefully it's not too busy because I can still see loads of kids around. <laughs> You're sick of me morning about the children. Like, when are they all back at school? Anyway, let's get to Aldi this morning and have a little shop around and do our little Friday haul. And you're ready for a little nap, I think, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> These look really nice. Look at these little pots they're in. They're like wooden style pots. They're actually ceramic. The wood is like just a wood effect. They don't smell too fragrant though, but I do like the look of that walnut wood color. Then we've got some reed diffusers. Um, let's have a little look. Ooh, that one looks nice. Smoky rose and patchouli. That's something I can get on board with. Although I do like the cedar smells. Maybe not for the summer. We've got jasmine, vanilla, 
And then we've got the same scents in the candle versions as well. I've never seen these before. These might be new to Aldi. £3.50, not too bad. Then I found these. Oh, wow, look. These are really nice. You know how much I love a church-style mirror. They're outdoor mirrors. They've got them in the white colour as well. They've also got these little portable fire pits. I think I need something like this, you know, for the garden. $24.99. Guys, sorry about being backlit here. The lighting is terrible downstairs still because of the weather. Anyway, whilst we was out, this got delivered. This is from Dunelm. It's another tension rod and it is well wrapped actually. So I might need my little parcel opener. BRB. So if you remember not long ago, we picked up these like linen curtains from Shein. I'll link these down below. They've got a little black trim. They're not the best quality. They're not real linen. They're just a linen look. Let me show you what they look like. And the fact is they're super long for these tall ceilings. We're going to thread these curtains on the pole and we're going to pop them here up in the French doors. So we've got a little bit more privacy. Oh, it fits on lovely, look at that. Lovely. I know we can make these look really nice actually, so that's one side done. Okay, we're done. Fingers crossed you guys, this works. I'm going to use some jute string, I think, for now, because I probably need a ribbon, but I can't find a ribbon right now. So I'm going to use some string. Yeah, so for the sake of 20 quid, I'll get my privacy early, because at the end of the day, Ash keeps saying when the floors go down, we can't do curtains and all the nice stuff until the floors are down. And I reckon floors are going to be down about about autumn time again because if you think about it we have to wait for tradesmen we've got to do all the plastering all the upstairs work all the bathroom it's not that far away until autumn when you think about it so it soon comes around i've already lived with no privacy like this for over a year and i just can't stand it anymore and also it's about to get nice and warm like as soon as these april showers are over Am I making a dog's dinner with this? As soon as these April showers are over, you know, I'm guessing there's going to be washing out 24 hours a day, um, seven days a week, and I just cannot, I cannot. So for the sake of my sanity and 20 quid, we have some temporary curtains. Guys, how is that? Do you know what I'm wondering if to do a third panel on that window at the side, but to be fair, I don't want to block it all up and you can see nicely through the little conservatory. You'll be able to see my little herb garden eventually at the end as well. So it will be filled with plants down there and I'd like to see it, do you know what I mean? Even though this is so awkward, if you remember, I mean, just, just look at it, it's so awkward. We decided not to do a new porch on this area so we're just going to make the best of it and it is french doors and it is hopefully going to be an entrance onto our courtyard eventually when we get round to it outside and then she won't be able to see anyway next door so i can then do what i want with this area i'm just going to stand back here so you can get you know everything in the shot so the table will be further up more towards the curtains over there in the corner hopefully we'll have the doors open in the summer and spring when we've got the courtyard done and it's a little bit more private out there again then we'll have the vintage dresser situation on this blank wall at the back there we've got the breakfast table in that area that little nook there and then obviously our lounge here kitchen lounge 
and then obviously into our open kitchen so it's a very awkward space but i think it'll look beautiful when it's finished eventually i'm going to be having big large drapes across the whole thing um thick curtains and double as well lined like you'll see what i mean what i do with that area so that we can you know have some sheer curtains to cross if we need to diffuse the light or we can have them all open and then in the winter we've got the thick ones to shut out as well it, the dark and keep it nice and warm in here and it'll just dress that area beautifully kind of cover it up but dress it nicely so that it looks pretty because at the moment it doesn't it's just an eyesore and we decided against doing a new porch we just don't think it'd be worth it for us as an investment um obviously because we could sell the house on if somebody wants to do that with the forever home then that's up to them but yeah i'm gonna make the best of it and i think it can look really pretty dressed up with like curtains and linens eventually so let me know if you guys think i should order another one of them panels for that panel there and have three do you think it'll look more expensive if there's three <laughs> i just think it's so awkward isn't it look at it and then you go from that awkwardness to that beautiful ceiling and it's like ah oh hi charlotte What would you do, everybody, if she just jumped at us right now? <gasps> <laughs> oh, also, before I forget, look what I picked up from Aldi. Aren't they beautiful? They did them in the white and this brass colour. And I had to get the brass because you know how much I like the brass. And yeah, I bought these on a little bit of an impulse buy because I just know that in the Aldi random aisles, they might not be there if I go back for them. Um, and they were so affordable. They were literally nine pounds each. So I got two. So two, four, nine and nine is 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah as you all know we have been planning our bathroom upstairs we've actually made the order last night which is really exciting but this video is going to be too long to go through all that with you and it's not a renovation vlog so i think you guys we will do a renovation vlog next because i've got a few updates physical updates that have happened in the house especially with the bathroom and then i'd like to go through the plans with you for our new bathroom <gasps> I am so excited. I can't allow myself to think about it too much. I have said it before, but these rooms that we plan in these renovations always, always end up turning out better than what we originally planned for. And the same goes for this bathroom upstairs. So yes, it's small. And I'm gonna talk about that in the renovation vlog next time. We'll go through all the comments about it and our thought process behind it and why we're doing things the way we're doing them so hopefully it'll make sense but anyway getting lost in the idea of that new bathroom so i'm thinking that these mirrors may go really bloody beautifully in that bathroom and you'll see what i'm going to do with them if they don't that's okay as well i can reuse these mirrors because i love the church style mirrors they're meant to be outdoor garden mirrors to be honest with you but i now just have them anywhere <laughs> just put them in your house and i've got so many rooms to use them in haven't i as well as outside so they'll definitely get some use and i wasn't about to let them pass up for the price that they were so i am really chuffed with those anyway i'm waffling it's friday hubby's about to come home from work because he finishes work on a friday a little bit earlier we're gonna do chicken steaks because we've been living off them really we're just loving marinated chicken steaks and they're just so easy to make and then obviously I'm on a diet as well. So I'm doing as a Caesar salad. So a really fine cut, chippy choppy Caesar salad. <laughs> Monday morning blues. I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you home Just to hear your voice on the phone I think of you And I'm not alone You are everything
with you in my arms I've got it all Nothing's amiss Everything is beautiful Sunday morning snooze With breakfast in bed And I listen to the song in my head It sings to you And the things that you do Cause you're everything Have you seen my baby? She's not a dame nor a lady Not in the way she walks, the way she talks, or the way she loves me Just look at me, I'm like a monkey in a coconut tree You know I'm overjoyed, cause boy oh boy she's my cat from the middle of that shelf up there that's why it's looking really bare behind me <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny spring morning and i'm feeling really good however i woke up this morning i woke up fine slept really well and then as i woke up and i was just like you know getting up for the day this morning i pulled a muscle in the back of my neck and oh my god it is so painful i feel really stiff like I can't really, ooh, I can't really move the head much. <laughs> I hope it goes away. The last time I did this, I had it for weeks and the only thing that got rid of it was being in the shower and letting the hot water, like, you know, like soothe the neck for a while, quite a while I did it for. And yeah, so I'm hoping it goes away soon because that is not what we need right now. <laughs> Anyway, apart from that, we're doing really well. I slept really good. I've had a lovely weekend. Things are progressing in the renovation. I did share a sneaky peek on my Instagram and I probably will do going forward because I can't help myself just posting little sneaky peeks over there. So make sure you follow me over there if you want to have a little nosy nosy. I'm not gonna waffle on anymore. Instead, we're gonna go and do the Sunday food shop. I need to do a nice roast dinner today. Hopefully we'll go for a walk. Oh yeah, by the way, I did not film yesterday. Ash was ripping out the bathroom. Oh my God, I can't wait to give you the updates. The next vlog will be a renovation vlog. So make sure you stick around for that. So excited to give you the updates. So excited. <laughs> Let's go to the supermarket and get the roast dinner stuff. Little Sunday haul. We've picked up some seeded bloomer. And I've got some chocolate chip cookies and some wasabi crisps. Yorkshire puddings, because I haven't got time to make my own. <laughs> some family peppers. I got some milk, because we was out of milk actually. It was also out of Sicilian lemons. So there's about three in there. I've got some broccoli for the roast dinner tonight. I've already got a chicken crown, it's in the fridge. Some bananas, some salted butter, essentials really, aren't they? I got some chopped tomatoes, that's for tomorrow's spaghetti bolognese, hence the minced beef and the garlic bread. I also picked up some eggs because we always need eggs. We've got some Aberdeen Angus quarter pounders there for Ash this lunchtime. Guess what I found everybody? Blueberry jam. What? Obviously some clotted cream. And I really fancy that. A cup of tea, some scones, maybe some cucumber sandwiches. I've got some natural yogurt as well for Ash this lunchtime. 
and that's my little Sunday haul. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty desk well I suppose it is my makeshift desk here at the island in the kitchen about to start the roast dinner and I never vlog the roast dinner because I'm always wrapping up the vlog on a Sunday and I haven't got time so literally I'm finishing the vlog now I've got to edit this and get it to you lot tonight so this is me today you guys I get to sit here and have the dinner cooking it's actually a really good setup but yeah you guys i'm gonna say goodbye for this vlog and i'm really excited to start the next one the renovation vlog i hope to see you there we're gonna have so many updates and so many plans that i want to share with you in that video so make sure you join me for it and i hope you've all had a really really good weekend and i will see you in the next video bye guys